Tina, your hand is up. Yeah, if it's okay, I just wanted to answer Dawn's question in the chat. Um, uh, she had three. Um, so the first question, I just want to say, yes, rent control does benefit renters at the cost of a portion of the landlord's potential profit. That is true. Um, but I think we have to ask whether we have to consider whether we are going to start prioritizing helping those who rely on housing as shelter or those who rely on units to produce a profit. Um, because yeah, we have programs to assist renters that are paid for by taxpayers. Those monies go directly to the landlords. Like I mentioned earlier, we also subsidize development. Um, the city council just waived $12 million in permitting um, fees for Kobayashi Group, which is a very wealthy developer. Um, and even with Rent, modest rent regulation, landlords are still going to make a profit, but we kind of have to make a value choice here. Like the, if we really think about addressing the housing crisis, we're, I think we're talking about curbing the rise of housing costs. And the, there's a contradiction there that if we limit the skyrocketing cost of housing, that's going to eat into landlord, landlords' profits. Um, but if we're serious about stopping displacement and lowering the cost of living, that that's a choice that we have to make. Um, and I, I know that's uncomfortable. And I think that that's why we have never adequately um, addressed this crisis. Um, to the second question, um, yes, rent control has, um, I mean, it hasn't solved the homeless crisis, but it's been studied and shown to um, have benefits that reach further than the, like the direct renters who are in those units. So a 2003 study of New Jersey and California found that cities with rent regulations had 10% lower growth in median rents than cities without reg rent regulations. Um, and a 2000 study showed that when rent regulation abruptly ended in Boston, Cambridge, and Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brookline, Massachusetts, rents in both regulated and unregulated units jumped up. Um, so we can see that um, it reg rent regulation improves affordability for tenants in both rent regulated and non-rent non regulated units. And yes, that's a benefit to renters, not landlords. But I also think that landlords benefit from neighborhood stability. We always talk about how Hawaii is changing so quickly, the Hawaii that we love is changing. Um, and I think that if we're serious about protecting that, then landlords stand to benefit from this too. And then to the third question, um, yes, uh, most rent regulation measures include exceptions for when a landlord has to um, make repairs and things like that. Um, and I would advocate for that to be included as well because habitability and safety is an important issue. Thank you, Tina.